Hi everyone, this is Phoebe from the Bug Snag team. If you just came from the search and segmentation video, welcome back. If you'd like to watch that video, I'll put a link in the top right corner of the screen. Now let's get started. Today we're talking about the timeline view in Bug Snag, which you can access by clicking timeline in the navigation bar, or from within the error details by clicking view on timeline above the errors trend. Navigating from the error details will display the timeline for all of the events in that error since the error ID has been added to the search bar at the top of the page. By default, we'll show you the events received over the past 30 days, but the period can be adjusted as needed. The timeline is interactive, so you can click and drag to zoom in on error spikes, or zoom out by expanding the mini timeline underneath. Since the timeline supports searching and segmentation, like the error inbox and details, adding or removing search criteria will update your results immediately. To view the unfiltered timeline, including all events received by a project in a given time period, remove the error ID as a filter. Clicking on any of the values in the drillable summary on the left will add them to your search criteria, and you can switch between the different pivots to see lists of errors, users, release stages, or operating systems impacted during the time period being viewed. You may also notice gray annotations on the timeline, which represent your application releases. These annotations are helpful for understanding the impact of code changes on error spikes. Click on any of the vertical lines for more information about the release, including the timestamp and version number. You can also filter to only events seen or introduced in that release, and if you've integrated with your source code, you can click directly from Bugsnag to view a diff to the previous release. All right, now you know how to navigate the timeline view in Bugsnag, and now I'd like you to watch this next video on our settings and integrations. I'll see you there.